Dr. Vikram here with another question on topic 1.2. This is uh, uncertainties and errors, and we're looking at uh, random errors and uh, systematic errors. So we want to know which of the following things that we could do would reduce random error in an experiment. Uh, taking a look at the options, we could say check the calibration of the instruments. Um, the calibration would mean, if the calibration were off, it would mean that the instrument is reporting results which are, are always too high or always too low. Uh, these are systematic errors, not random errors. So, so B is not a great option. Checking for a zero error on the instrument is, is almost the same thing as a calibration issue. Um, a zero error just means that it's not measuring an empty uh, measurement correctly. So a, a weighing scale, if it reported 10 grams when nothing was on it, that would be a zero error. Um, and that's also a systematic error. Um, in the case of that weighing scale, uh, the zero error would mean that every measurement she took would be 10 grams too uh, massive. Uh, part, or ap option A is interesting, using an instrument that has a greater precision. So this would mean like uh, using a ruler that measures to the nearest centimeter and saying, no, that's not precise enough. I want a ruler that has markings with, on millimeters. Um, that might help reduce random errors, but only if your uh, instrument is what's causing those random errors. Only if your instrument is so imprecise that it's uh, preventing you from, from reading uh, whatever it is you're reading accurately. Um, so that could help reduce random errors, but only in the case that it's your tool that's limiting your precision. Whereas repeat readings and then averaging those readings would help in all cases. So I think A is a good answer, but I think D is the best answer. Uh, if your tool is imprecise, sometimes you'll, you'll read a little bit too high, sometimes you'll read a little bit too low, and when you average things out, you should get close to the, the actual value. Um, repeat readings would also help with other kinds of, of random errors as well, uh, gusty winds or other kinds of uh, unstable conditions. So uh, this is something that often happens where uh, there's more than one answer that seems to make sense and you'll have to figure out wh which one is the best.